So get a chair, any chair is fine. Just a nice straight back chair or a folding chair, either one. And we will start seated and we will pretty much be seated for our chair practice today because why not try that? So get your sitting bones near the front edge of your chair. And we're not going to be using the back too much, so don't worry about that. Feet right under your knees, <clears throat> ankles under your knees. Spread your toes just like normal. And have those sitting bones slightly behind you at the edge of the chair. Core activated, so ribs toward your spine and up and lengthen through your spine. Keep the shoulders back and down. And just take a few moments just practicing sitting in that nice upright position. And feel what's going on as you sink evenly into your sitting bones. Not a lot of pressure in your feet. And crown just reaching up, letting that spine open. And then we'll do our warm ups just as we usually do, working the spine all six directions. So to start with, just Tip your chin into your little jugular notch and just keep winding down, getting a little bit of a round into your back. And just keep bringing the forehead as far down toward your legs as it wants to go, letting the whole spine wind forward into that forward bend, bringing those ribs back, core back, and letting that whole spine all the way down to the sitting bones around. And then starting at the bottom of the spine, start straightening it back up, pushing your ribs slightly forward, your heart forward, and then lifting your chin just slightly, keep stretching the back of your neck and let the whole spine go into a little back bend. So just breathe into it, lifting that heart, dropping the shoulders and shoulder blades and sit back upright. And then as you get that spine straight, just feel the difference. And then we're gonna start this time at the bottom of the spine. And again, just allow it to wind forward. So as you round forward, pull the ribs back, pull the heart back, tuck the chin slightly in, looking down. And then rotate your face to the front and lift your heart. Drop your shoulder blades, push them forward, and again, come into a back bend all the way down to your sitting bones. And then once again, sit back upright. And then we're going to start at the top, lift your chin, push your chest forward, ribs forward, all the way down into the back bend at the lower back as well. Shoulder blades dropping, heart lifting. And then starting at the bottom, wind back forward, pull the ribs in, heart sinking down, chin tucking in, coming back into that forward bend. And again, just inhale and come upright. Take a moment feeling your body, exhaling any tension. And then pushing the ribs forward, lifting the heart, coming into the back bend, lifting your chin just slightly. Another back bend, dropping your ribs, feeling that whole spine going into a back bend. And then chin tucking forward, and again, rounding. And chest pulling back, heart pulling back. Ribs pulling back, rounding all the way down. Bring that forehead as far down as it wants to go. And again, just inhaling, face forward, crown up, shoulders back and down, coming back to neutral. Feel the whole spine a little bit more activated. And bring one hand down along the side of your chair, <clears throat> the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Sitting bones at the front of the chair, ankles right under your knees, and slide over to the side. So keep both sitting bones down, ribs opening, 
And just keep sliding this hand down the leg of the chair or whatever is convenient. Arm by your ear, head and fingertips are reaching out as you go sideways. Take a breath, stretch it out. Inhale and come back upright. Arm coming out, palm to the floor and back to your side. Take a moment, feel your body a little bit more stretched on the side we open and we'll do the other way. Arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Other hand just along the side of your chair as you lean. And remember, keep both sitting bones down so that you feel those ribs open a little bit more. Keep the arm right by your ear, shoulders facing the front, knees still right above your ankles, and head and fingertips reaching away. Feel the stretch along the side, sideways motion to your spine. And then inhale up and release the arm all the way down. Take a moment as you're in your seated position, feeling that spine a little bit more activated. And then turn your toes out, turning your knees slightly with it, and hands above your knees. We're going to bring the shoulder across to the opposite knee for our twist. So remember, stretch your spine apart, sitting bones and base of the skull stretching apart. Exhale, turn to the side. So your whole body is turning as you bring the shoulder down toward your knee. Other shoulders going up and your whole body is looking to the side. So hips moving slightly, ribs up, shoulder up and back. Stretch out through your neck. Make sure you're stretching the whole spine, not just part of it. Exhale, relax into it deeper. And then inhaling, turn back to the center, coming back up into the middle. And just again, feeling what's going on through your whole spine. And of course, we're going to twist to the opposite side, stretching out, getting those bones apart in your spine for the twist. Exhaling, turning to the side, hips, ribs, shoulder, everything looking to the side, not just your neck. Bringing that shoulder across down toward the knee as the other one goes up toward the ceiling. And again, just turning your whole body as deeply as you want, breathing into it, exhaling and deepening. And then again, inhaling, turn back to the center and turn your feet back to the front. So again, as you get into your seated position, just feel the spine more activated, getting ready for whatever is ahead for us in our practice today. And then bring your hands down to the sides of your chair. Lift your heart, push your head back. So again, a back bend, lifting into the upper back and just ribs coming in slightly forward, heart forward. Chin just a little bit up, stretch through the back of your neck, another back bend. And then exhale, and again, chin forward, and ribs back. And just again, let your shoulders round forward. And then inhale, and again, come upright, and release your hands. Take a moment to breathe, just gentle work through the whole spine. And then we're going to <clears throat> bring one foot up and cross the leg over. And then slide the knee to the side <clears throat> and put the ankle above the opposite knee. So just as we do when we're seated in our staff position, we're just going to warm up the hip. So the knee is coming down just gently and the ankle is on the hip or leg. And it can be as high or low as you need it to be. Take a moment and breathe. Keep the core active, shoulders above your hips and just let the hip open up on the side. Take a breath, exhale tension. Other ankle is right under the knee still. And don't forget to breathe. As you exhale, you can add the weight of your hand or hands, just letting that knee come as far toward the 
chair toward the floor as it wants to. Just let the hip relax as we always do. And then when you're ready, bring the knee in. Ankle into your hands and move just gently side to side for that outside of your hip. And as always, if you want, you can lift it closer and higher and keep moving side to side, whatever's working for you in that seated position today. And then as you exhale, bring the foot back down, relax it on the knee, slide it over and back to its normal position right in front. Feel the difference on the legs, on the hips, <clears throat> just noticing what your body is talking about in that hip area. And we'll do, of course, our balancing for the other side. So bring the foot up and over. And remember, you can lift it with your hand, that's okay. Do what you need to do. And again, just sliding that knee out, bring that ankle to the opposite knee as much as you can. Knee coming down, sitting bones still on the edge of the chair. Just breathe and relax, exhaling any tension, letting that knee just relax and release as much as it needs and wants. Take a breath, just relaxing. And again, bring your hands to the knee if you want a little bit more release. Breathing, relaxing, because remember, relaxing is what releases things. Feel the hip, let it release, don't tense and tighten. And then hands on the ankle and knee, bringing that foot up and moving side to side as much as it wants to go. Or wrapping your arms around, pulling it higher or closer. Still moving side to side, feeling that body doing its rotation. Take a breath, just relax any tightness. And then again, bringing the foot back to the ankle, slide it over, uncross the leg, and again, ankles, knees, and hips lined up. As you're back in your seated position, spread your toes. Exhale any tightness, stretch your spine apart, and let everything release and relax a little bit more. Then we're going to bring one hand to the opposite knee, the other arm out. We're doing our twist again. So follow the hand all the way around and bring it toward the back of the chair, either on the side or behind it, whatever's working in your chair. And again, sitting bones are down, stretch the spine apart, and exhale, hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning to the side a little bit more. So this a back hip can slide forward as you go. Take a breath, exhale, just deepen into your twist as much as your spine wants to do. Deep breath, tension out. And then releasing that hand, bring it back to the shoulder level, come around to the center, and release into your seated position. Feel the spine a little bit more activated from the twist. And of course, yes, we'll balance the body and twist the other way. Hand to the side of your knee, the other hand, at shoulder level, coming around, turning your whole body so this hip is sliding forward, that you're moving away from hips, ribs, shoulder turning, bringing the hand to the side of the chair or the back of the chair, whatever is working for you. Stretch the spine up, exhale, deepen your twist. And again, just each exhalation, you can keep deepening as much or as little as your body needs in your twist. Whole spine turning, not just part of it. Exhale, any tension. And then releasing the hand at shoulder level, follow it back around and release. Back in your seated position, just take a moment, feeling your body responding to that twist energy. We're going to do the same twist, but with a little variation. So again, bringing the hand to the opposite knee, other arm out, keep the shoulders down, the spine stretching up through the crown, 
Exhale, follow your hand coming to the back. And again, hand on the side of the chair or the back, other hand by your knee, hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning to the side. Stretch it up through the neck, exhale and deepen. Keep stretching up, and then as you exhale, turn your head only, neck twisting the opposite direction, bringing your neck around toward the opposite shoulder. So again, you're in your twist, the hips and shoulders are turning to one side, but the neck and face are going toward the opposite side. Take a breath. Stretch it up, exhale, turn your head back to the other direction. And again, back in your first position, bring the arm out, shoulder level, and follow spine turning the entire body back to the front. Again, notice how your body responds as we go through those motions. Spreading your toes, stretching your spine, breathing deep, Exhaling any tension. And take your other hand to the outside of the knee, arm at shoulder level to follow as you bring it around toward the back in the twist. Hand to the back of your chair or the side, stretch up through your spine, exhale. Back hip, remember, is moving forward as you turn hips, ribs, and shoulder further into your twist. Take a breath. Stretch up through the spine, through the crown, relaxing into it. And then on another exhalation, keep stretching up through the top of your head as you turn your chin back the other direction. So the hips and ribs turn one way and the head turns the opposite way. Keep stretching it open, exhaling any tightness. Breathing deep. Just relaxing. Stretching up through the top of the head. Exhale, turn your chin back to the first direction. And again, as you get back into your full twist, bring the arm out. Exhale, follow it around at shoulder level, back to the center, and release. Whole body facing the front once again. Ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders in line. Take a moment feeling your body, noticing how that's working for you. <clears throat> now we're going to bring the arms right out in front. Spread your toes, sink into your heels, and push slightly off the chair, coming into a little squat, if you can. So the arms are shoulder level, shoulders are down, knees are coming toward but not beyond your toes, and the Sitting bones are slightly off the chair. And then exhale, sink back down and release. Now, if that was good, you can stay there. Otherwise, you can put your hands on the sides of your chair and do your lift, just bringing those sitting bones up off the chair. So as you're spreading your toes, <clears throat> getting the weight into your feet, and either pushing up and holding it core activated, spine stretching up, or you're bringing your arms out to the front, and again, pushing slightly forward, knees toward your toes, not beyond. And if you feel up to it, you can come all the way up to standing. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale, <clears throat> coming back into your squat, arms coming to shoulder level, sitting bones going back toward your chair, into your squat. You can stay there and sit, or you can bring your hands back to your chair and sit if you have any hesitation that you're going to make it into the chair. Take a moment and breathe. <clears throat> so you want to be working on that if that's a tough one for you, making sure that you're getting your body into a position where you can be standing up from a seated position, just like you used to do. Take a moment and breathe as you get back into your seated position. And then we're going to move the feet to the sides, angling them out, coming into a little wider legged position. Sitting back still at the front of the chair. Exhale any tension, lengthen through your spine. We're going to pivot at the hips, 
Slide the hands toward the knees or beyond down the shins toward your ankle, bringing your whole body forward as far as it wants to go. So you may be way up, that's okay. Or you may be way down, that's okay too. Just keep those sitting bones toward the front of the seat as you keep the spine straight, just pivoting from those hip joints. Take a breath, stretch the spine, lead with the top of your head, and come all the way back up. Hands to your knees, turn the feet and knees forward, and feet back into your seated position. As you get back into your seated position, just feel your body a little bit more activated as always, and breathe. And then bring your chin into the little notch at the base of your throat. Stretch the back of your neck. Exhale any tension. Bring your hand one at a time up to the back of your head. No pressure, just extra weight, giving a stretch to the back of your neck. Take a breath and relax. And then releasing your hands. Tip your chin back upright, and then keep leading with the chin, but also through the base of the skull, looking slightly up toward the ceiling, stretching your throat, moving your jaw, circling it, pushing it forward and back. And then releasing the jaw to neutral, tip your head back upright. Take a moment to breathe. We're going to do the next stretch to the side, ear tipping toward one shoulder. Take a moment as you breathe, just relaxing, letting the side begin stretching. The side you're tipping toward, bring that hand out and up to the outside of your head. Take a breath. At that side of your neck, get a good stretch. If you like, you can hold the chair and press gently down or slide your hand down along the side of the chair for that extra stretch through the neck. Exhale any tightness. And then releasing your hands, tip your head back upright, feel the difference on the two sides. So yeah, balancing your body, going the other way. Shoulders over your hips, Shoulders down away from your ears, bringing your head to the other side, head facing the front. Take a moment there, breathing. Bring the hand that you're tipping toward up onto the outside of your head. Just let weight add to that stretch. If that's enough, stay there. Or bring your hand to the chair, a little pressure in the chair, or slide it down further toward the floor. Take a moment and breathe. Exhaling, letting things relax in that stretch along the side of your neck. Deep breath, tension out. And again, releasing your hands, tip your head upright, feel the sides of your neck a little bit more activated. And one more twist for our neck, so stretching it up, turn your chin, exhaling, only the neck twisting, going to the side. Keep stretching it up, turning back to the center. Keep stretching it up, turning to the opposite shoulder, chin at level to the floor. Just breathing into it, exhaling any tightness, stretching up, turning your chin back to the front. And one more full twist. We're gonna bring the arms up, right above your shoulders. As you exhale, turn your whole body over to the side, one hand to the back of the chair or the side of the chair, and the other hand outside your knee. Keep stretching up. The hip that you're turning away from comes slightly forward as hips, ribs, and shoulder turn to the side. Take a breath, deepening as much into your twist as you like. Inhale, bringing the arms back up, stretch toward the ceiling, facing the front. Shoulders down, spine stretching up. Exhale, turn to the other side, bringing the hands again to the outside of the chair and knee or to the back of the chair, if you like a little more twist behind you. Again, that hip you're moving away from, slide slightly forward, 
as the hips, ribs, and shoulder all turn to the side, not just your neck. Stretch up through the crown, breathe in, inhaling hands up as you turn back to the center. Bring your hands, palms out, and shoulder level, and back to your sides. Take a moment there, just breathing, keeping those sitting bones toward the front of your chair, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders, everything lined up once again. And you can close your eyes, and we'll do a little seated meditation for our final actions of our day. So take a deep breath in, drawing energy and awareness internally. And as you exhale, just let the stress and tension go anywhere in your body. Keep the spine upright so the sitting bones are still near the front of the chair, hips and shoulders, crown stacked up in a straight line for your spine. Take a moment to breathe. Make sure that core is nicely activated, supporting your lower back in this position. Exhale any tightness or tension. If it's a challenge to hold this position comfortably, you can pack some pillows behind your lower back, just giving you a little support. Take a moment to breathe, focusing inward, closing your eyes. And we're going to breathe in for a count of four, filling your lungs, letting the belly expand, lungs expand fully, diaphragm dropping. And as you exhale, just let it all go. Empty, belly sinking in, exhaling all the breath. And with each inhalation, count to four. And as you exhale, count to four. And only focus on the count. Going, inhaling, one, two, three, four. Exhaling, one, two, three, four. And as you do your inhalations and exhalations, go as fast or slow as your breath likes to go. Just counting with it, getting that rhythm of one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Breathing, just focusing on the breath. And the next time you're breathing into four, at the top of the four, just take a moment and pause without exhaling, counting again to four. And then after you've counted four, at the breath in, exhale for the count of four. And as you get completely emptied at four, just hold that breath out for a count of four. And then breathing in, holding, breathing out, holding, each time for a count of four. And as you're doing your count of four breathing, inhaling, holding, exhaling, holding, just bring your awareness to the middle of your skull, to that meditative center. Find that peace point, whether it's in your head, in your heart, in your body, just breathe into it. Hold the awareness there. Exhale any tightness holding that awareness in the peace as you exhale as well.
And of course, if you want to keep relaxing even longer, just keep focusing on that inner peace and awareness, flowing with the breath in and out at your own pace. But if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing that breath more deeply, exhaling, returning with the breath to the moment, to the room, to your body. As you begin breathing more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels right for you in your chair today. Breathing more fully and stretching just gently, moving your body side to side. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. Thanks for joining me.